Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure. We have a bit of a post-commentary going on here because when I originally recorded the Gamma videos, um, the Audacity recorded for a couple minutes and then I don't know why this stopped. It didn't crash, but it stopped. And I kind of go on a bit of a tangent about why I hate that <laughs> when I, I discover that Audacity stopped working about like 13 minutes into this episode. Maybe 15, who knows. But yeah, here's the start of Gamma's levels, which is the rainbow at the end of Amy and Big's levels, because Gamma is really fun to play with. Uh, yeah, so the story just kind of starts real quickly compared to every other cutscene that the characters start with. Your big brother, E101 Beta, is there practicing. 101 is practicing in there. Enter, Gamma! You're not as advanced as Beta is, but you'll do fine. So now we have to show Eggman that we can be almost as good as Beta, big bro. And Final Egg, which is our first level, ironically, to Sonic. Destroy the Sonic Tire. So yeah, this is a quick level. I think I died in this one actually. If I remember how the gameplay went. But yeah, Sonic is right there. You have to hit him three times, but I didn't realize that, so I just kind of shot once, and I was like, like skidding around, even though I would have died anyways. And you can see Gamma. Flipping his arm up and down, because that's me spamming the... I think B is the shoot button. Yeah, because A is jump. And uh, what you'll notice with Gamma's levels, which I don't know if you were looking at the time, but his timer goes down, so he started at 3 minutes, and then so it dropped down to 2 minutes and 37 seconds. And um, the only way to... So, so if the timer goes down to 0, um, you die. Which, I don't know, it's kind of pointless. It's only, like, difficult to, like, keep the timer up on the Gamma's last level. But there's so many uh, checkpoints that it doesn't really matter. But, yeah, so the timer just goes down. And then shooting things brings up the timer usually by, like, one second each enemy you shoot. So now we are going to be invited into Eggman's squad. Big bro! Yeah, so he has like cannons for arms, and I don't know why I'm so privileged to have hands, or to have a hand and a cannon arm hand. Right? Or does it just like switch between the two? I swear I have like a hand. So you can catch these hands. See, even the timer starts at 3 minutes for this boss battle. But, like, during the context of this battle, it doesn't really matter if the timer runs out, because, I mean, Eggman's not in any big hurry at the moment. Now, what's gonna happen with the loading screen? I did this like a week ago, so I don't even remember. You surprised me, Gamma. I had a funny feeling there was more to you than meets the eye. But there was like a 50 50 chance that he would either be average or no, no, okay. So you'd either be average, good, or shit. So that's a one to three chance on paper. So you want to come along with us, eh? And now Beta's like, please bring me with me. Jesus. <laughs> Sliding into the DMs. Yay, he gets special permission. And now we get to leave the surface of the earth. I st like, I, it's still, I don't understand how 
like the workshop area that Eggman has and like so there's a big skyscraper and then the, the egg carrier hangs out here all together but like what's the skyscraper do I still boggles my mind even though I didn't show a skyscraper in that cutscene when, when you're in the forest there is one I don't know so here's me and all my little bros we're just kind of broing it out with Eggman and his not game show, but it might as well be a game show. Aha! Testing one, two, three. We're gonna do a let's play. You, the elite egg carrier crew, are here today. Let's play uh, Eggman Simulator. To hear a very special announcement. I like the pauses he includes in his speech. Behold, it's a tale. Very unique. Yes, that's the frog. We had to catch the last four episodes. So yes, we were created to find frogs. And yeah, I'm just gonna have some bro time. Oh, I never mentioned, but like, so sometimes like when you like start an area in a map, there's like a, a flying thing that goes by, and that is the character Cream the Rabbit, who uh, is new like in 2001 or something, so they uh, included her in like the Sonic Advance games and maybe the anime, I really don't know, I could not care less about the Sonic anime or I kinda wanted to get the Game Boy games just for the Child Garden stuff but I didn't think it was worth it but I hear they're kinda good games but I'm not too big on 2D Sonic except for Sonic Mania that's coming out I'm actually excited for that because um, I haven't really played 2D Sonic games. I mean, I, I bought Sonic Generations a couple months ago, like, I think almost six months now, and I still have not even, like, played it. I just got it because uh, the local grocery store was just, like, shutting down their video center. So I'm like, oh, I wanted to play this game, I'll buy it, and then I'm also waiting to hope for backwards compatibility on the um, Xbox One for Sonic Generations. But yeah, I, like the only experience I have with 2D Sonics is like the demos, the Game Gear games that they have on this here on the GameCube, the Sonic Adventure stuff, uh, and then uh, there was a friend I used to hang out with about. Uh, nine, not nine, eight, seven, that, like, that many years ago. And he had, like, the Sonic Mega Collection on the GameCube, I think that's what it's called. And, like, we only played, like, the, the two-player race mode on Must Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and 3. And those were pretty fun, but then if you, like, play with anyone else who has, like, skill or, like, no skill, there's, like, a very, like, divided tier area between, like, the skill and that. So, yeah, to find someone your skill level to play that with and have fun. <laughs> Other than that, I've only played, like, the first level of, like, any Sonic like the Hedgehog game. And I had some cousins with the Sega Genesis, and I played that for like 10 minutes, and I'm like, eh. I barely even like 2D Mario games. Let's like, be real here. Like, Mario games are just kind of tough in their own respect. Uh, when the NES Mini comes out, when... I mean, if I can record with that, I might do... Um, Super Mario Bros. 3. Or just do that on the All-Stars pack on the Wii, I guess. I don't know, I like the graphics of the original more. They don't, like, they're not too tooty-fruity, you know? 
But back to the game, Gamma's uh, to call teleporting scene is just watching all the chow, which is a thing. Because I think we're gonna attack the chow. Uh oh. Alright, and I think to call just like kind of gives us like some cuckoo -coo eyes. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm sorry. I see you must not be one of them, huh? One of them. Like, what does that mean, one of them? See, look, she's like staring into his like toilet lid. Like, hey, I'd like fondle that back and forth all day, every day. These little creatures are too vulnerable without its protection. And then along with Sonic Mania, there was, uh, Sonic 2017, right? Which, uh, hopefully is not gonna be, like, Sonic 06. I decided not to buy, two, like, Sonic 06, because I don't really want to play it. And then back to, like, Cream the Rabbit, I think she was in Sonic Heroes, which... I only have, like, the Sonic games on the GameCube at the moment, and then Sonic Generations, like I said. Uh, I don't think I'll ever be doing a Let's Play of Sonic Heroes because that game's too hard for me. <laughs> like, it's kind of embarrassing. Like, um, so there's four different story modes. And, like, they all have the exact same levels, kind of like Sonic Adventure, but this time it's, like, actually the same levels in the same order, but just, like, different designs or areas. And, um, like, so, I don't know, so, like, Amy, Big the Cat, and Cream are, like, a team, and they're supposed to be, like, the easiest levels, and I can't even, like, beat, like, phase one of their final boss, because I just don't understand, and I have yet to watch a guide for that game, so I'm, I guess I'm doing pretty good for guideless. But back into the Egg Galliar, we have our frogs, our froges. Doge frog. But we got the right frog because, you know, we're the main character. We're Don's. Dun -dun -dun. Damn. Those are my little brothers. It was toileted. Oof. Look at me. Jesus Christ, he got squished into another dimension. Just <laughs> casually carries. Froggy in his shoulder, his arm. But we'll find out that uh, Gam was a little bitch and freeze Amy. Cause, I don't know, he's a confused teenage robot, XJ9. Penny, is that her name? Penny? Is this the one? I didn't watch uh, My Life as a Teenage Robot too much, but I thought it was okay. You know, back when uh, channel like 106 and 108, well, at least on the TV I watched, they had like two different Nickelodeon channels. I don't remember which one had which, but one of them was just like a three hour later thing. And then the other was like all the 90s like cartoons and shows, especially the game shows, oh my god, I loved Nick game shows. I wish I could be on one. But now I have Survivor to look forward to. But yeah, we went into the wrong room, Gamma went into the wrong room, little dumbass. I mean, uh, Eggman did say go into the, the room on the far end, even though there's three doors. But yeah, so... Beta was going to be spare parts, but now he's, uh, uh, with these upgrades, you never stood a chance mode. And, uh, pretty soon, uh, my actual commentary will be popping up. I don't know how far into the next cutscene that's going to be, but, um, when that happens, you'll be hearing me complain about <laughs> post-commentary for a bit, so... Uh, I hope you enjoy this brief uh, intermission where there's no commentary.
make me the bird. No way! Resistance is futile. Give me the bird. I said no! Why not? None of your business, why not? You don't even know? All right, well, shout out to uh, my audio just stopping in the first episode, so, uh, yeah, okay, it's gonna be screwed up. I hope you enjoy the, <laughs> the post-commentary the first episode had. That's the second time this has happened lately, I don't, I wish I understood why um, Audacity froze like that. I've been having problems with Audacity since I first started recording last year. I mean, like, I've, I think I've explained this, but, like, um, on my old computer, when I would record for about longer than an hour, then the audio would just start distorting, because I think in some of my Kirby 64 videos, I had, like, a big sec like, a big session. And then, I think around, like, I don't remember how many episodes I recorded, but, like, I guess the fourth episode in that session, or third, I don't know, but then the, the audio was just started kind of, like, echoing itself, but, like, you couldn't tell what I was saying, and then after that happened, that also was when my MacBook went to shit, with, like, recording on the Dazzle software. So yeah, and then, um... Um... I, I, mean, I still use Audacity. I haven't really been researching other programs to use that probably are existing and better. But the past month or so, sometimes I would record and then uh, about like a like, I mean on this one it was like three and a half minutes in the audio just stopped. So I don't know. But yeah, so I I don't know. That 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 pisses me off actually. Cause I hate doing post commentary. I I think I did it like once on. Um. What was it? Once on Mario 64, I think. Yes, I remember. But then. Hold on. What is the power up? It's not here yet. Where was I going at? Um, okay, so like I did post commentary and then that. it's It just is shit, okay? Wow, oh my god, fuck. And then on Pikmin, I know on the second episode I had to do post commentary, and that was terrible. And then on the Tales finale, I sounded so uninterested with my recording, but I think it was just like the distance I was from the microphone. But also the fact I'm doing post commentary, so it's not live anymore. Yeah, here's a power up. I really enjoy this power up existing. Just for traveling. And it's in the Sonic Adventure 2 mode. So yeah. I see you got the jet booster. Yes, we do have the jet booster. Hurry! Okay, here, I'm gonna just check the that the room that had the water if there's a power up in it or not. Like, now that I got this one. Oh, you know, it has to be when I switch the, the, the ship. If I'm not mistaken. But... Yeah, so I, did, I just don't like post-commentary. I thought I would. Like, I thought I would just start doing that. But then it's like, we need to watch the video a second time. Like, after playing it. And then editing, too. So... Not a thrilling combination. Um, I'm glad I caught this on earlier. 
but yeah, post commentary, just know. AI, sir. Yeah, after I finish Sonic, um, I might take another like, bit of a hiatus, although I've already been doing like a hiatus. How is he not dead yet? How many times do I have to hit him? Okay. But yeah, I'll probably do an update video. I don't know. Like, hopefully I'll find a replacement to Audacity. Or just a newer version if that's possible. But who really knows? That was like two minutes ago, Amy. Of course I remember you. Catching him with the feels. Amy! Oh, I really don't get this. Oh, no. It's not 11. You don't have to whisper tales. Take Amy and go. And go. I'll nail that Eggman. He must be Ooh. at all. Nail him. Thanks again for saving me as usual, Sonic. And how are you, my metal friend? It's dangerous here. Oh, asking how are you when it's uh, dangerous? What a terrible conversation starter. I told you we'd be friends the next time we met. Even Birdie wants the best for you. You must ditch that awful egg. Birdie hasn't said shit. Amy, come on. Yeah, Amy, you're delusional and Birdie isn't even like in your hand. He's just floating at the same pace that you are moving around your hand. I get to fly away. I don't know where they stored the propeller blades in his body, but uh, it gets it done. Look at those big bendy feet. I don't think that's normal. Oh my god, they show that picture from the Dreamcast version. <laughs> Now we get to kill our brethren and Eggman. Enemy. Master registration deleted. E series. Friends. Free them. Must save. So by killing them, because Eggman's gonna just upgrade them a shit ton. Right? I don't know. Um Alright, oh, that's because we get a Windy Valley. I think that's actually going to be it for this episode. I can just not look at the TV while I move. So yeah, that's going to be it. Actually, no, I have to hit the piece. But yeah, anyways, like I've been saying, that it will be it. So it will be it for this episode. Don't forget to leave a like as it will help the channel grow. And you can subscribe to get the possibility of seeing my uploads as soon as they happen. But while we walk this piece over there, uh, you can stay tuned next time where I do have better commentary than post-commentary. <laughs>